Game one. <laughs> All right, lemon green tea plays. Uh, is this lemon tea or green tea? It is lemon tea. That's his. That's his tag. Okay. Yeah, New Jersey, uh, often PR'd uh, Wolf. He, most of the brackets I've seen him enter, at least online, he's been playing just different, a bunch of different characters. Wolf just seems to be the flavor of the week. But he's been known. So for Fox, this I can see Mario. it being. Go ahead. No, this is something that I can see as being a very volatile matchup because both of these characters thrive on uh, the other one not shielding, and neither of these characters shield. Like, at all. It's disgusting, actually. I mean, that's as long as Wolf feels safe, because while Wolf, both of them have, like, incredible out-of-shield options, so as long as, and on top of both of them have incredibly safe buttons, so they'll be able to just land on each other and hold out shield as is as long as they're in like proper safety like, look at that he dash attacked and held shield because he expected the hitbox which got him to kill Ooh, not yet no rage that is correct though the winner of this matchup is going to come down to properly use their shield while not compromising their gameplay too much so we'll see how that goes it'll be it's going to be a little bit of a trick for the player that just falls behind early and Lemon T can't seem to can't seem to land that land a move that'll stick. The one back air that he got didn't end up killing. And nope, not yet. <laughs> He's sitting all sorts of kill moves now. They're not working. Wow, that could. Wow, I can't believe that caught. He had to have thrown out like a neutral or a back air and his leg got caught. Oh, not yet. <laughs> so much of Wolf's moves, uh, if, speaking of, as we mentioned last set, the just base, base knockback values. Um, Wolf's forward air and, or not forward air, forward throw and down tilt are both just base knockback. There's almost no, no chance of them killing pretty much ever. And unfortunately, getting grabs and uh, down tilts are some of Wolf's safest pokes. <laughs> so he can have trouble killing sometimes. But then other times he kills you at 60 with, with a good, uh, with a nice solid backer. So there's a I bit mean, of Wolf a dichotomy. Wolf gets his kills by sufficiently scaring you into trying to avoid something, and then he just gets you with something else. Mm, speaking of. It's like, oh man, he's about to off smash. Let me just get out of the way. And then he just, I, let me just hold shield. Then he back throws you. Or, uh oh, he's about to grab me. Let me jump. And then he back air you. It's just like, wow. Okay. He just has an answer for everything, doesn't he? He really does. The but real key it, is how much of the fear he can put in there. I feel like it's a it's a common trait amongst, amongst uh, every spacey in this game, though. Like, they have their kill setups, and they have their kill tools, but they don't have anything really consistent. Like, you know, but really really consistent at all percents. Because, I mean, Just all three, that of, all three of them are incredible. Out in the game. I, I know, and I thought of that, but then you get out of, like, up till back air percent, and Falco has to look for, like, raw down tilts to kill you. You get out of yes. the forward air back air percent, and now Wolf has to look for like just raw dash attack. Yes, but the fact that remains is that he has a window where he can just kill you. If he yeah. lets you path, but that's hit, that's on him. I mean, all the space. Oh, no, he's not. And we're going to bring. <laughs> we're going to bring this back to Wolf, and why he's both the best and the most difficult spaces in some specific instances. Like, Wolf's moves are very telegraphed. Wow! Okay, that was nice. <laughs> that was really smart. That was extremely smart. He baited him into a, uh, making it seem like he was gonna go for a back throw, and then he's just like, nah, he's gonna roll out of the corner from my back throw. Let me just chase it and up smash instead. Look at this. Listen, he even does the roll. It's like, ah, back throw time. Nah, son. Come and get it. Fool. This, this is what we call conditioning.
He makes him think he's gonna do one thing, and he hits him with the other. So that's just, yeah. Classic Ness being safe on shield. Yeah, I, It certainly would've been the end of the game though if it hadn't hit. Yeah, absolutely. I, he was around, he, he was about proper back throw percent if you're, if you're a Ness main. It's like he sees red, looks for grab. Yeah. Game two. Yeah, same spot. I would never. I will never see a nest that doesn't want to go to buy plants. Most characters like buy plants, though. Most but most characters most like buy plants, but like, you know, like some sometimes you want to see like, oh, I'm I play Link and I want to go to tri plats for certain instances. But then if you're nest, you're like, oh. Like I want these, I want these big center stage, and I want these bipods to cancel all my stuff on. To throw PK fires off of, yes. <laughs> yeah, all of them. But he can, he can do those off tripods too. It's not like the top platform gets in the way of that. Yeah, but the difference between Battlefield is that it doesn't have, it, like the center stage isn't nearly as open. You have that tripod, you have that third platform where you can start to pressure shield and be scary if you're the opponent you can play around that a little bit more with this it's just open air and nest has amazing air to airs <laughs> well then in that case uh you're talking about an open my plot in that case because nest probably wouldn't be able to get things done on small battlefield like you can on ps2 yeah i'm more thinking like unova and uh and ps2 Yeah, no, Got that's... Rip Unova. Rest in peace. We salute thee. Imagine playing Powhatana and getting such a good stage banned. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, Lemon Tea is also a New Jersey native, and all we do is go to, go to PS2. Ban two stages, counterpick PS2. <laughs> This is a good ass stage. It's Even Sakurai knows that. That's why he gave us another bike part. It's a great stage. I love it. I don't. I don't love it for the 80th set in a row. Also, rest in peace. He could have. Uh, he could have iroed that. Uh, he could have iroed after the first fair and gotten a back air instead of another fair. Can't wait for IRL Torrens to come back. We can start playing on Smart Battlefield. Smattlefield. Oh, so good. But alas, we'll have to deal with our normal, our normal bipod. I like that. I like just Wolf's like, so cool. Wolf's just so nice. <laughs> like watching what? Wolf move. I really like watching Wolf move, right? And not in a like a weird sense. Like he's just he's looks like he's a very satisfying character to watch play effectively. And that's what like Lemonty's basically been doing this entire game. Like it's close. But Wolf's raw kill potential and more straightforward game plan can lead him to put himself in good spots. He's fast and he's quick and he's quick to get off the ground and quick to land back on it. So he can position himself right in plenty of instances. And these can't go these can't go unnoticed anymore. Like he's been playing around Yo-Yo so effectively thanks to uh, Flare Wolf being huge. Firewolf? Firewolf? Hold buffer being at large. Yeah. Also, the move's called Firewolf. It is called Firewolf? Okay. That's what I thought. Is it really? Just right there being. Yeah. yeah. No, no fire, but Firewolf. Firefox, Firebird, Firewolf. Yeah, the only one with actual different names are the side bees. Uh, Fox Illusion, Falco Phantasm, Wolf Flash. Oh. Okay. Um, good job, Lemon T. <laughs> you did it. You really outplayed him there. Man, that sucks. Like, it wasn't even like a, a buffer problem or anything of like, Wi Fi delay. It was just, oh, I missed my air dodge. Miss him, did, he, did he use his double jump? I don't, I don't think he did. 
I think he was just trying to air dodge early. I want to see something about that final kill again. Not when we get back to it. Good set, though, overall. Yeah, both of them played well throughout it all, but there was some key things that put it in Lemon T's favor. Like, solid conditioning that got him a final kill. Oh, okay, bye, John. Welcome back, John. Let me see John. that. Oh, yeah? I, you were just, I couldn't not, uh, I could not hear you for a moment, but you're fine now. I hung up, that's why. Well, I know that, but you were, your icon was lighting up and it could still come near you. Okay. I was looking at the, uh, the lag numbers. I wanted to see if there might have been like a lag spike that in, that caused him to miss time his up air dodge like that. Mm. But it doesn't appear so. Yeah, it seems like it was fine. 